Hello, I'm artist Dale Montaigne, and I did the giraffe piece, which is called Wild Side Roundup. Unfortunately, I couldn't make it to the studio in Lafayette for the videoing, but I like what the town is trying to do, so here I am in my studio, and I thought you might want to look around at what an artist's studio might look like. The giraffe is made of steel overlaid with a bronze face and dichroic glass spots. The glass has a special mirroring which picks up all movement around it as well as reflections from sunlight creating subtle kinetic effect. The giraffe to me symbolizes a sort of gentleness and brings smiles easily. The added humor of the little boy is an element of humans trying to take charge of nature that needs no manipulation. Animals can also symbolize aspects of human personality. The giraffe was a bit tricky to make, being 13 feet tall, so when time to connect the limbs, I had to hoist him up in my solarium, get all the angles right, and then attach the legs. After the legs were welded, he was then laid back down, spots applied on both sides, and the face put on. Then hoisted up an extension in my shop swing arm crane that extended outside my shop. After looking for 10 years, I finally settled on a piece of land outside Silverthorne to build my studio. I wanted to create a building tall enough to display sculptings, capture passive solar, and the area along the highway to create a sculpture park gave me more exposure to the public. The studio itself is an experiment in art and leans into a green reality. Artists create fingerprints for the generations of man. I've created surprise gifted sculptures that have elicited tears of unexpected joy. To create the unexpected in form, color, emotion, and texture gives humanity time to pause, reflect, and hopefully makes the world a richer place for the effort. Funding for art enables elements that touch our hearts and minds beyond the norm and the mundane. The public interact with my art? The visual enjoyed richness and appreciation funding so these elements are perpetuated. You've been watching pictures of my studio and sculpture park, which is located 10 miles north of Silverthorne along Highway 9, half mile past marker 113.